is God praise God this is prophetess Deanna Dixon I'm gonna wait till some of you get on here on here on here as a matter of fact um, I don't know if y'all see it what the title is but it says the true prophets of God was never light and this is going to be a heavy video let me go ahead i like to do that disclaimer so you can prepare your mind and get your minds right because um and while i'm waiting for a few to a few more to get on here i got to tell y'all something um first of all god is so good oh hallelujah i'm gonna say it again i've been fasting um the 14 um full liquid fast is over with a 14 day fan you daniel fast is over with but where I'm at right now, hallelujah, y'all got to excuse me, y'all got to excuse me, y'all got to excuse me, the power of God been on me all day, hallelujah, 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 y'all don't, don't know where I'm at, so let me tell y'all where I'm at, I've been fasting every day, now I'm not trying to arrogant, be arrogant, I'm not trying to brag, and, and some people going to say, well, you supposed to tell nobody, shut up, I'm encouragement to somebody, I'm so, I, I, I ain't got no more quotes, let me tell y'all where I'm at, God said, I want you to go deeper, I want you to go higher, Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. So with that being said, there's a certain anointing. Let me tell y'all something. I don't know. I think this is too much light. Hold on. Let me see something. Okay. I can't even tell. Whatever. So anywho, even in the studio today, I started witnessing to the young lady. I, no, no. I don't think y'all understand. No. I went so deep until, I'm going to keep it real. I think I scared her. Dad, I didn't did it again. Hallelujah. So I apologize for the poor for the anointing should i apologize the devil is a lie i will not apologize so let me go ahead and do this god been on me all last night all this morning he said i want you to do things in decent and in order i said yes lord first of all let's go back the true prophets of god were never liked and, and i'm gonna walk i'm gonna tell you right now this is gonna be heavy i got notes so i'm after walking through talking through and is that type of video is going to be heavy. It's going to be heavy. So anyway, they were never liked. If you know your Bible, most people don't. They were never liked. Jeremiah, Elijah, and, and I'm going to talk to you about prophets because I, I really want prophets to hear this too. I want prophets to start standing up. The spirit of Jezebel is threatened in this hour. So the, Je the spirit of Jezebel, what it's trying to do is it's trying to shut up the prophets, the true prophets of God. Shut up. We don't want to hear the truth. Shut up. We don't want you judging us. Shut up. We don't want you to say nothing. You heard what I just said. Shut up. When you are the mouthpiece of God, you cannot shut up because God will kill you. They ain't ready for me. The power of the Holy Ghost is so heavy on me. It'll kill you. Let me say it again. It'll kill you. No, no. Let's go deeper. A lying prophet, your days are numbered. You will die. That's why I don't lie. Come on, somebody. I'm going to walk this thing through. Every prophet in the Bible was disliked because of the fact that they said what thus said the Lord. And I'm going here today. God say, you know who don't like the, the prophets the most? The church. Hallelujah. The church, it ain't even the sinners. The sinners be like, yeah, it's true. I'm this, I'm that. But what we gonna do? They real with it. They, they own their sin. It's the church. The worldly Christians, let me say it right. The worldly Christians, the ones that look like God somewhat, talk like God somewhat, move my, like God none of the time. We're in the time where it's an urgent matter. To tell each other the truth. Now I have some good news and I got some bad news. The good news is God loves us all. The bad news, all of us don't belong to God. So y'all keep saying, well, when we gonna have unity? When we gonna have peace? God said, there is no peace. Because the line is being drawn in this hour. So hold on, let me get my notes out there before I miss anything. Because I can't miss nothing he said. Alright, so first of all he said, do you truly have a relationship with him? <laughs> Stop playing games. You know how we love the Lord when them checks come in, or we love the Lord when we get a blessing. Hallelujah! I'm blessed and highly favored of the Lord. But when times get hard, God, why? Oh Lord, oh Lord, I, I start drinking, smoking, sexing, texting. You, you know, and I did it all too. But a mature Christian of the Lord said, God, with tears in my eyes, when I don't understand what's going on, I'ma serve you, God. When they talk about me, God, I'ma serve you. All right, let me walk this thing. I'm, I'm do all the notes first, and then I'm going to come back because I don't want to miss nothing. 
Then he said, the temptations of this world is tainting the people of God. I told y'all I've been saying it for weeks and it keeps me singing that dangling carrot. The devil have studied me. Oh, I'm going here. He know what I used to like. I don't like them no more. I, I, I had to stop liking them. Because he says, you know what I like? I got to change what I like because you're going to get me. Oh, come on, somebody. So, so if you don't change for real, the devil said, oh, you fake anyway. I'm going to get you sooner or later anyway. Mm. The devil been watching you your whole life just like God. He knows what you really like. He knows how you like it. And that's how he gets you. The temptations of the world, he said, that's tainting his people. That's what he said right now. Hold on, let me finish. He said, the true prophets of God must call out wrong. The true prophets of God must call out wrong. If you see it, it's a reason you saw it, prophet. It's a reason you saw it, prophet. It's a reason you saw it, prophet. You're mandated. I'm going to say it again. You're mandated. Despite what they say, despite what they do, despite it, you are mandated because God going to wake you up at 2, 3 o'clock. Because here's the deal. It's the blood. It's the blood. It's the blood. It's the blood. It's the blood of Jesus and the blood that will be on your hands. It's not to attack. It's to attract. Maybe you'll feel shame enough and say, God, I have sinned only before you, God, like David did. Oh, shoot. They ain't listening, God. And God said, stop playing with him. He said, stop playing. Too many people are playing church. He says, stop playing in this hour. Okay, let me continue. Okay, praise God, praise God. God says that the true Christians of God does not treat anybody different. Mm, I got to say a hard story. I didn't think he wanted me to tell it, but I do have to tell this story. My God, my God, my God. Give me the strength and give me the knowledge. Give me the wisdom. Hallelujah. And I thank you, Lord, I honor you. Before my dad died, my dad died in March. Some of you are not going to like this. It's going to sound bad, but that's okay. I had to tell dad, stop, stop doing what he was doing. I had to tell my dad, daddy, God is real. We went around in here for months. I was going to tell y'all the truth, what happened. That maybe some of you will go back to God too. And it was hurtful. I didn't disrespect him now. Because God says, honor your father and your mother. Until the day you die, I don't care how old you are. So let's get that straight. But I told him, I said, dad, get your house in order. God told me that daddy was going to die. As a matter of fact, if y'all don't believe me, my sister Sharonda Brandon in Abbeville, Louisiana, I went to her house two years ago and told her my dad was going to die. I said, keep me, in, keep me in prayer. I don't know when it's going to happen. It happened this year. So don't play with me. I know I'm a true prophet. Ain't nothing y'all could tell me because I'm going through it every day, the burden. So I know what I'm talking about. But I had to tell my daddy, daddy, you got to stop doing this, 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 and get right with God. And I can honestly tell you he's with God today. I know he's in heaven. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. So I say this to say this. Who are you? Who are any of you? If I could tell my own daddy, and it was hurtful, what makes you think I'm not supposed to tell you what does say the Lord? Y'all need to stop there acting like y'all some bullets and some thugs and, and whatever you was in the street because the anointing is better than all of y'all. Don't believe me? Play with the anointing of God. Play with the anointing of God. Go ahead. Tell me how that, how that turned out for you in the end. Maybe not now because people are big and bad to say things, to do things on Facebook, in a church, being messy, all that stuff that people do. That stuff going to come back on you. Because the one thing you never did was ask God if it was true. Let me repeat that for the ones in the back. Or may I say the ones all the way in another state. You never went to God and asked God if it was true. You heard me. Let me continue my list. Nobody playing with y'all. Praise God. I say praise God. I say praise God. I say praise God. Hallelujah. God says, praise God. He says the relationship with him must be pure and authentic. Because success comes and goes. So what is he saying in this hour? So many people are after success. And we're talking about in every area. Until y'all doing whatever it takes and neglecting y'all relationship with God. And then when you're laying on that deathbed or you've had instant death, you're crying, Oh, Father God, forgive me. Oh, Father God, forgive me. And I'm not saying it's not going to work. But you cannot live all this way. And then when you get to that point, Oh, God, forgive me. God, forgive me. You can ask for forgiveness, but the consequences of your sins are still there, beloved. What am I saying? Y'all stop calling us sin. Because people have money. 
I'm finna walk that thing all up and down the pews. I saw it in, in Sacramento. I saw it in Atlanta. I saw it everywhere I've been in Louisiana. I saw it all. The ones that have the most money, practically almost running the church. Because y'all don't want them to go nowhere because they got tithes, they got offering, and they got to say so. I don't think y'all know my story for real, but I'm going to tell y'all a few more. I remember right here in Atlanta, this lady was getting, I don't know how many millions. And she, and, and trust me, we were friends. and She she didn't lie. She wasn't trying to play me. She said, I'm going to give you a couple of million to do this to your ministry. And we went on TV together, all kind of stuff. But I noticed she started talking to me a little crazy. I noticed she started demanding things, commanding. And this is how true prophets act. I rise up. I said, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What are you doing? I said, do you think your money can buy my spirit and what I say and what I do and how I act and how I roll? I said, oh, no. I, I cut that so sharp. I ain't giving you no money. I don't care. And that's true. every story I've ever told is true before God. That's an example of I cannot be brought. I got to stay with God. Did I need the money? Of course, we all could use a couple of million. Don't play games. But I'm not going to let you do it. Mm, I'm going somewhere. Hey, and I say that story because guess what? That's how some of y'all roll. If people got a little money, y'all shut y'all mouths and y'all don't say anything. God say he's against you. He said because you're supposed to tell people the truth no matter who they are. That's what true prophets do. You tell them the truth no matter if it hits you, if they don't like you, if they talk about you. Mm. Let me continue with these notes because I don't want to miss nothing he said. He was adamant about this video. Okay, hold on. I've seen people destroy because people did not say anything. Some of you, no, I know some of, let's be real. We see, we know what's of God and we know what's not of God. Y'all don't want to say nothing. And I keep bringing certain situations up because I want to show y'all how biased y'all are. When Kirk Franklin was cussing his child out, y'all all went with Kirk. Yes, y'all did. Well, he was wrong. None of you looked at the small fact that he's supposed to be a man of God. None of you. None of you looked at. Y'all was just with Kirk, period. That's what y'all still doing, God says. Y'all go with people that have money, that are successful, that so say are doing all this, whether they are right or wrong. And God said you are wrong for that because you are girding error. I'm going to say it again. You are girding error. Error. I'm going to say it one more time. You are girding error. True prophets don't gird error. We correct error. We're going to tell you about yourself. But what people fail to realize is that the prophet, if I'm out of order, God will get me first before I even come up on him. Y'all ain't ready for me. Hallelujah. God does still kill his prophets, by the way. So what am I saying? The prophet is Deanna Dixon. You've been prophesying since she was 27, 1996. Hmm. And y'all know all the stuff I didn't say, right? Yeah, y'all get the drill from. Huh? Not trying to be arrogant. God is with me, period, whether you like me or not. I don't know what else to say about that one. Just keep on going to the notes. Let me, I'm just going to scroll. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God said, in this last hour, the enemy is devouring us so much, even in the house of God, because we're, we're, we're attaching to uncleanness. We're attaching to sin. We're making a covenant with sin. Do you know money is a covenant? I won't accept certain money from some people. No, ma'am. No, sir. No, ma'am. That's a whole covenant. And if that person is in sin, that comes over on your life. I'm telling you what does said the Lord right here. There's an urgency in the spirit and in the atmosphere to get it right before God in this hour. God said he's the one that's calling people home. So some of these people that are dying, well, all of them, God is calling home. But not everybody going to heaven now. I'm sorry. I don't care if you put the little wings on there, the flyers and stuff like that. Everybody ain't going to heaven, baby. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. 
But God said, in this hour, count the cost. Make sure, I told y'all last video, God said, be mindful of what you say in this hour and be mindful of what you do. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And I'm about to walk this thing all the way out. Hallelujah. I say, hallelujah. I say, hallelujah. I say, hallelujah. I'm about to walk this thing all the way out. As a true prophet of God, we must stay connected to God. That means we must be fasting. We must be praying so we can hear. You have to be clear to hear, said God. You have to be clear to hear, said God. You have to be clear to hear, said God. In this hour, God is saying, purify yourselves. Consecrate yourselves. That's where we at. Holiness is still right. God is bringing back holiness, people. You must be holy. He said you will not inherit the kingdom of God without being holy, without you being converted to childlike. You know what childlike means? That means I'm going to do what you, what you want me to do, God. I'm going to say what you want me to do, say, God. I'm going to go where you want me to go, God, despite of who and despite of what, God. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Lastly, now this is my note. In 2000, no, was it 2014? No, 2012. I think it was 2012. The president before um, Donald Trump. I don't like to say his name. I think we all know. Okay, let's just let, let, let's just say it because some of y'all will get mad in the way, and I, I don't even care. The first person I ever called out when God taught, when God truly started this type of ministry for me, which is correction. I have an Elijah spirit. I go against government. I go against anybody. I go against you. I'm going to say it again. I'll go against you. I'm going to say it again. I'll go against you. Don't mean I don't love you, but if you're dirty, you're dirty. So if I went against the president, which that's why I'm red flagged, and that's why I'm even blackballed. Did y'all know I was blackballed? How can you get blackballed in the gospel industry? That's what happened. Now y'all know. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm independent. They don't like me because of what I say. They don't like me because of what I do. That's why, since y'all want to know why, because, you know, people making videos of me, I'm this, I'm that, you you don't even know half of the story. <laughs> and you better be careful before they start tagging your phone, talking about me. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, if y'all want that smoke for real, them three letter boys, all of them, they all, they all on me. If you don't want that smoke, I would suggest you keep my name out your mouth, because they're going to bring that smoke to you. They're going to find out how you know me, what you want to know. You ain't ready for that. You strong, but you ain't that strong. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. I'm telling you not. Because you need God to be with deal with that stuff that, that, that I deal with. Trust me. You need God. The spirit of God. The anointing of God. The presence of God. God said, put it all out there today in your face. Since y'all talking all that little, little, little stuff and acting like y'all know prophets. Prophets walk heavy because they're in the presence of God. They walk in the power of God. They are anointed by God and they are protected by God. That's the only reason I'm not dead. The people probably been wanting me dead, but God said, not yet. I mean, they poisoned me. They ain't did so much stuff. I'm still here. I said, I'm still here. Be careful in this hour. Walk with God for real, God says. The enemy is taking and snatching God's people one by one. Getting them with their own desires. Getting them with their own temptations. Just like the book of James said. It's not God's fault. It was you. You took that dangling carrot, God says. Hallelujah. In this hour, you must get in your word. In this hour, you must know your word. In this hour, you must get a close relationship with God. Stop going out. Stop doing everything. You, the enemy, let me, let me tell you something. That movie I was showing y'all is, is on YouTube. It's called The Pilgrim's Progress 2019. Oh my God, I thank God for my friend that sent that movie to me. That movie is a cartoon. I looked at the cartoon version. It is so powerful. It tells you how you walk. It shows you how you're walking. And the guy name is Christian. I don't want to tell the movie because it's so powerful. And his friends tried to stop him from leaving. Uh, uh, the devil tried to stop him. The devil disguised himself into friends. Ooh, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. God says so many things will try to stop you from getting close to him. He said, but you're going to have to have that tunnel vision in this hour. You're going to have to be like, psh, 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 like the matrix. I got to go. I got to go. I got to be with God. I got to, I got to stay connected. I got to, I got to honor our covenant. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The enemy don't like us. The enemy don't like us. I'm going to say it again. And worldly Christians, I'm going to say it again. You've never liked it, us real Christians. As a matter of fact, the, the worldly Christians, the name for you all that was in the Bible 
It's called Pharisees and Sadducees. That's your name. Because y'all want to walk and have the benefits of God, but y'all don't want to do that gully stuff. What's that gully stuff? Come on, let's talk about that gully stuff. Fasting. Praying. I live like a hermit on purpose. Honey, I'm not no ugly woman. I could have been married. Let me walk this thing and talk this thing. I could I could have a lot of stuff. As a matter of fact, I've been everywhere I want to go. Almost have everything I want to have. But with God, I'm not going outside the perimeters of God. I live like a hermit. I don't probably go to people's house because I don't, I don't want that spirit on me. Thank you, Lord. I got to walk it like I talk it. A true prophet of God must stay pure. I can't go to the left and I can't go to the right. I can't. I, I just blocked a couple of people because they messy. Don't call me and tell me nothing about nothing that's going on in another state. You try. You trying to get me caught up? That's what you're trying to do. Ooh, did I say that? I sure did. Stop it. Stop it. I say stop it in Jesus' name. I must keep my ears purified because I don't know when God going to tell me to pray for this one. I don't know when God going to tell me to lay hands on this one. I don't know when God going to tell me to move. Hallelujah. How are we going to be used by God if we can't be used by God? Because God cannot use an unclean temple. The Holy Spirit cannot dwell in an unclean temple. Y'all ain't ready for me for real? In this hour, and this is a thus saith the Lord, how, judgment is in the house of God. So what am I saying? The true prophets are supposed to rise up in this hour. And there's going to be a correction as though you have never seen. And right after the prophets decree and declare a thing, it shall happen. And I'm telling you, as a prophet of God, all of you are getting ready to get exposed. And me too, if I'm doing something. Did I? Can you see me clear? All of us. God is coming for all of us. I've been saying that three days in a row. God is coming for all of us. This is the hour where you're getting exposed. And people get mad at you. Don't say this. Don't do this. Don't talk about her. Don't talk about him. Don't talk. You are alive before God. I will say, let, let me, now this is me, this is me. I'm a prophet of God. I will not apologize for a dust said the Lord. I will not apologize for, for hold on, for outing out anybody that God tell me to. Do you hear me clearly? Let me, let me say it slow. I do not apologize. I always get two confirmations from God before I say anything. And I better about not be lying either because God will expose me. God ain't playing with none of us in this hour. Hallelujah to his name. I say hallelujah for the power of God. Y'all better stop playing with God. I'm going to say it again. Y'all better stop playing with God. I'm going to say it again. Y'all better stop playing with God. Because right now, this is the three things that's taking down the people of God. Money, sex, and lies. I'm going to say it again. God say money, sex, and lies. So the enemy giving y'all money and y'all losing y'all mind. And then y'all using so many other people that even if they in sin, we don't care. We don't care. Just keep the money coming. God going to get every last one of y'all that have a hand with that. The second one, some of y'all just are sex addicts. Instead of asking God to purify your mind and your soul and your body. You can't serve God. You can't serve God like that. You can't. You can't. You can try, but it'll always be tainted. And number three, y'all be lying a lot. That it is not of God to lie. God said, I hate a liar. Just repent. And get that thing right, God says. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Woo! I know it's tight, but it's right, huh? And it's going to get tighter because I'm not going to stop fasting. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and get my disclaimer out there because you know when you lose, a lot of way people could say something wrong with you. I know y'all can tell because you can see my face going down, but um, I'm about to get real skinny. I don't know when I'm going to stop fasting. I'm after something. And hold on. It ain't material things. I know y'all thought that, right? Because everybody after. I want that. I walk so heavy. Like I used to. I'm talking about when I was in Sacramento 15 years ago. Hallelujah. You don't ready for me for real. That's what I want. I don't want no. I don't want no car. I don't want no house like that. I don't want no. I want the full anointing of God. So I can walk it like I talk it for real. No, no. Let me be real. So I can help my brothers and sisters for real. Because too many of you. You ain't got no power. And get mad at the ones that do. You ain't got no power, which is your fault, because you're not doing what it takes to get the power. You got to abstain from the unclean thing. You got to quit gossiping. You got to quit, cut it off, cut this one off, cut that off. 
And yeah, it hurts because you, you feel like you ain't, oh, like, dog gone, I'm alone. God said, that's good. Now I can work with you. Now you're going to listen to me. Matthew 6, 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. If you are a true child of God, God come first before your mama, your daddy, your cousin, your lover, your husband, your dog, your cat, your rat, your hamster, your rabbit. Because, you know, like I said the other day, you can't lay hands on a rabbit. That's all God told me to say. So, let me go ahead and say this one last thing. I cry a lot as a prophet. And I probably will cry a lot more before I die. But I ain't scared of none of you. In no kind of way. Because God is with me. God is with I, I, I don't care what y'all say. I know he with me. And I'm going to say what God say to say. So you can't threaten me. You, I don't care if you do a live. I don't care if you live in person. I, I, I don't care. <laughs> for Christ I live. And for Christ I truly will die. So don't be trying to don't be trying to intimidate nobody and say this. And I pray for people like that. Because they think they're right. But sometimes you could be right and wrong. Right in having a concern, but wrong in the way you released it. I'm just being real. And that's all I got to say. But I love y'all. And and that's that's the ending of all things. If you are a true woman, a man of God. You can't have hate in your heart. That that's God can't work with that. He don't work with that. He don't. Because that's maliciousness. You'll be hurting people on purpose because you felt that feeling, that them, them spirits in you. But let me tell y'all, do anybody know what the anointing is? Let me leave y'all with this because a lot of people don't know what the anointing is. The anointing is the power of God and the love in your heart. Why y'all think they why y'all think there's so much hate in this world today? The enemy is opening up demonic portals. In every city, every town, every state. I just put that on Facebook. In every city, every town, every state. Got people killing each other. Mad at each other. Offended. Because he knows that hate brings the other cousins. Fear, greed, selfishness, and murders. Lawlessness. The power of love brings joy, hope, faith. That's the anointing of God. Love, or The anointing and love. The, the fruits of the spirit. That's what Satan's hate. That's why he tries to keep us going after each other. You know what I'm saying? I'm, that's one thing I've learned not to do, just to be real with y'all. I'm not going back and forth with nobody. I love you. I don't have no energy. Number two, I'm not going to give devil the foothold. I'm just going to be real with you. Hallelujah. And I'm going to say something else, too. There was a situation that happened, and I was, I'm not going to say totally offended, but kind of, because... I was accused of something that wasn't real. Let me just say it. I ain't got time. I ain't got time to go around the corner. Uh, true prophets just say it. Somebody did a video about me saying I was jealous of somebody and something like that. And I responded. First of all, I'm going to repent for responding. I'm a woman. I'm going to repent for responding. But I'm only human, right? The love I have for the people of God, that's not even real. That's not my spirit. People that know God know my spirit. People that don't know God, you don't know. So I forgive you. And I'm going to leave that just like that. And that's it. All right. So God bless you. God keep you. God is so good. But I'm telling y'all, there's a search. The enemy killing too many people. And God is not pleased. So where we at right now, spiritually, God is saying, get clean. Get consecrated. Get more anointed. Fast. Pray like never before. Get on your face. That's what we're supposed to be doing. But everybody want to be a star, not a servant. Everybody after money, honey, and funny. Can I tell you something? When Jesus comes, all of that won't even matter. Serve God with, with your whole heart and with faithfulness and with truth. There it is. All right. God bless you all. God keep you all. And y'all know what time it is. Roll out soldiers for that is truly who we are. God bless.